panicking and selling an investment when it does badly? Um, having a very clear strategy. I mean, I, th I actually think that um, that trader habit of writing down, physically writing down a trading strategy and following a discipline of writing down reasons for trading it is quite a good inoculation against those kind of panic reactions. So um, you may, for example, have set an exit point from a trade if it's, you know, the, this is the point at which I will bail out if, it, if, if the price drops below a certain point, for example, you may say. Um, and then it starts falling and it's not got to that point yet, but you're panicking and you think you might bail out anyway. Um, enormous amount of regret then if it then climbs back up after you've bailed out. Um, is that a gut instinct though? A gut instinct reaction? It might be. I mean, the other equally common one is are you getting down to that point and you can't bear to take the loss, so you move the stop loss down. You actually change your mind about the point at which you'll exit the trade. And that um, heuristic of change when near that these uh, uh, guys on the uh, running the retail platform talked about. Um, so, but that that discipline of actually writing down your reasons for changing your strategy uh, does sometimes help a lot with that. What methods can you employ to sort of offset this sort of fear and greed uh, emotion? Well, one of the, yeah, one of the, I think fear and greed are quite interesting because um, we've, I, I talked a bit about fraud and actually one of the things that any good fraudster knows is that they don't need a good story to convince you. Um, what they need is to get you motivated um, and they need a good enough story because you, if you're properly motivated, you'll fill in the blanks yourselves. Because what fraudsters know is that we're really good at feeling, uh, fooling ourselves properly motivated. Now, in the markets, uh, that motivation is there without the fraudster providing it. Um, and we, you know, fear and greed can both be very strong motivators to fool ourselves about what's likely to be happening. Um, so, um, and by the way, uh, intelligence is not a protection against that kind of tendency to fool yourself because uh, the more intelligent you are, the more cognitive capacity you've got to devote to your own self-deception.